Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm unboxing another Sabbath box for you all. Um, and I just want to go ahead and say this, like I don't, this is the first Sabbath that I'm actually like so, so excited for. I've never had this much excitement for a Sabbath before. I don't know what's going on. Spring's not even like my favorite time of the year or favorite season. I, I, I don't understand it. I don't know maybe if it's just I'm so sick of winter and I'm very excited to um, <laughs> usher in spring and the warmer but not super hot months. Um, I don't know or maybe it's just the the new beginnings thing that's getting me but the spring equinox and Ostara is just something that I am really really looking forward to. I'm so excited and stoked for it to get here and it gets here next week or I guess if you're watching this video today. Hey happy Ostara, happy spring equinox everybody. Um, so I'm going to unbox the um, Sabbath box for Ostara. So Sabbath box is a fun little box that is put together for each Sabbath. So it's not a monthly or a quarterly or anything like that. You get them every four to six, six weeks. I'm not sure what the exact time frame is, but you get them about a week or two before the Sabbath so that you have uh, little goodies and little uh, ritual stuff uh, to help you celebrate the Sabbath. And so far, this is probably my favorite box. Uh, I do want to go ahead and say that the wonderful people at Sabbath Box sent me this to go ahead and unbox on my channel. So I am going to go ahead and do that now. So this is what we got inside. And uh, seeing this right here is just uh, wonderful. I don't know if it's a real feather or a just a fake feather, but I... <laughs> It is something that is pleasing to me to see in this box. And I'm already smelling good smells. <laughs> so the first thing on top is the theme and it looks like it is moon magic, which is pretty cool. Um, I haven't done much when it comes to uh, celebrating around the moon or uh, what are they called? Esbets or Esabets? I'm not sure what they're called, but when every I, I haven't been really following the moon cycle as much as I probably should. Um, so it's, I'm, I'm glad to see that incorporated into uh, Ostara, to the Ostara box. I'm going to refer to this as we go through this box to let you know what everything is. Oh, not only, like, I don't know if it'll be able to pick up. Their stickers uh, have the theme on it that's so cute so I'm going to start with something that is extra sealed in here oh my goodness I have so many bowls now uh, so many little ritual bowls or is that what this is oh it's an incense oh my goodness and this is so pretty oh, I really really like this um, I love the stars on top the little star cutouts um, but this is for, it looks like, uh, this would be great. This is great for loose incense, but, um, I'm in love. Um, so this is a full incense burning kit. It has, uh, charcoal feather, which is the feather, and instructions. Um, this is, this whole kit retails for $13.50. Uh, it was sourced via Electric Artisans, and I will link that down below. I will also, of course, link to the Sabbath Box um, store. So if you want to purchase any of these items that you see from my box or from previous boxes or from the, the past Ostara boxes or either any other Sabbaths, um, the store is always open. <laughs> it has wonderful items. Uh, if you, I do have a code for it. I believe it's Jumi10. Uh, if it's not, I will go ahead and list it here. Um, and it'll be in the description as well. You'll save 10% when you order from the store. So why we chose it. When it comes to properly burning loose incense, one does need the correct tools necessary to burn them. Uh, since we are including a jar of such beautiful loose incense inside this box, we decided to curate all of the tools necessary in order for you to properly burn them. Included with your kit is a wooden charcoal burner with a star screen, two incense charcoal regret, regret <laughs> two charcoal incense discs, um, and a black 
turkey feather for wafting. So, and then it comes with the little instructional card and then it has instructions on the back. So I guess this is a turkey feather, this big feather. And I'm not gonna unwrap them because they're messy and dirty. This is where the charcoal is. The next thing that I'm picking up out of here, it looks like a little apothecary bottle. It's from Lau Lau Lokens Awen. And I, I think I've seen this brand somewhere before. Uh, maybe not in Sabbat Box, but definitely in one of my boxes, I believe I've opened something by them before. Um, this is Moon Anointing Oil. It's made with organic essential oils. It's 15 milliliters or 0.5 fluid ounces. It's made in Canada. So it retails for $12.95. I will go ahead and list their website down below if you would like to uh, check out their website. And I will list this uh, from the Sabbath Box store if you want to pick this up specifically. So it says why we chose it. When it comes to us working magic, it is important that we do our best to correspond to and channel the energies of which we are attempting to work with. This hand blended ritual anointing oil was created specifically for working with energies of the moon, as well as working with the divine feminine. Uh, each moon anointing oil is crafted speci during specific astro astrological timing corresponding to the moon, and it is ritually charged. This oil is made with an... Why am I struggling with words? Uh, this oil is made with an organic essential oil blend of jasmine, sandalwood, liang... Lang, I can't do it. Ylang ylang and fractionated, yeah, fractionated coconut oil. I don't know why I, that was such a struggle for me. It's definitely a sweet smell. I don't know if it's skin safe, but I mean. So this is probably very, very good for putting on candles. It smells very nice not floral I don't know it's just a very clean semi floral scent it smells nice it's a uh, something that I is pleasant to breathe in the next thing in here I'm pulling out is moon ritual votive candle ooh ooh and it comes with a business card this is what it looks like so this retails for $3.50, it's by the Sacred Feminine, and I will link their website down below as well as, well as of course, where you can get it in Sabbath Box website. So why we chose it. Though they are made to be used specifically in combination with the moon and its phases, this double hand poured spell candle captures the duality aspect of the equinox. So the the white and the black and the dark and the light. So this is just like the bunny candles from um, the uh, witch box. Uh, we included a simple manifestation candle spell on the card provided to act as a guide that you can use to perform your own spell throughout the complete lunar cycle. It's hand poured by the founder of the Sacred Feminine. Um, and they have been creating unique candles serving the community since 1991. Um, I gotta tell you, I really, really love this candle. I'm getting really, really good vibes from it. I'm probably gonna check out their website. It's it's not even like a super expensive candle, um, so I would like to see what else they offer, but this is perfect for Osara, at least for me, and it goes perfectly with the two rabbit candles that I got from Witchbox, so I'm very excited to use that. Ooh. The next thing is also in a very apothecary looking jar and it comes with a kind of scroll paper that tells you what's in it. This might be the incense. This is the incense. So this is Witch Moon Hand Blended Ritual Incense. I'm loving their packaging. I am so for their packaging. Um, this retails for $15. Why we chose it. Witch Moon by Rosarium Blends is a high quality handcrafted incense made to help bring about the energies we seek when working with the moon. Rosarium Blends makes their own ritual incense blends, essential oil blends, and natural perfumes using the finest herbs, woods, resins, and essential oils. <clears throat> 
All form formulations are original recipes and the result of extensive historical research, practical experimentation, and magical study. Each product each product that they make is blended and ritually charged during specific lunar phases, astrological transits, and charged during and with ritual correspondence in mind. Their products are also formulated with special in specific intent in order to enhance one's magical potency, enliven the senses, and increase the awakened awareness they are designated to awaken. Um, so the founder of this is a master herbalist and alchemist, um, and you can browse her unique product lines, learn more, uh, about her via her website. So it looks like they included a 20% off Sabbath box exclusive coupon, which was included with this, uh, for my next purchase. I don't know if I'm okay. All right, we're sharing that. I will go ahead and share it down below if I am and if you want to take advantage of it because, wow, this is an awesome... It almost smells medicinal. Like a, a Vicks rub or something. It's very almost minty. So it has frankincense, camphor, wormwood, jasmine, willow, uh, mugwort, sandalwood, and gum arabic in it. And it says to burn it on charcoal. I like this. Um, I kind of really like the smell. It's, I've always, uh, I'm a weird person with smells, but I've always loved that kind of like minty, cool vapor, if that makes sense. Like if you know what Vicks Vapor Rub smells like, then you know what this smells like. I like that. It's very cleansing. Like it gets inside of you and you can feel it almost in your lungs. I like that. The next thing in here is all wrapped up. So this is called Moon Lore. It's Lunar Themes of Wisdom and Magic by Elizabeth Pepper. I actually almost forgot. Sabbath Box usually includes books in their, um, in their, what's it called? In their boxes. Uh, I think we've gone maybe, no, I think we did get one last, last Sabbath as well. I love that they include books because books are just, the, they feed my knowledge hunger, uh, for the, for the Sabbaths and for how to, do rituals and celebrate and stuff like that. I love getting books uh, on this subject, especially with, like being so new. This th it's just great. It's just great to get. So this is just full of information, I guess. Uh, it retails for seven ninety five. It's by the Witch's Almanac. So it says why we chose it. Whatever you may consider yourself, a witch, Wiccan pagan, mystic, or just a spiritual person interested in the occult, when it comes to the practice of the craft and the occult arts, it's important to continue to expand our minds in order for us to help further expand our spiritual practice. Staying in line with our theme surrounding moon magic, we wanted to include something in this box that could help you expand your mind while channel channeling the aspects of the moon. Uh, so this Moonlorn book may be tiny, but it is filled with such simple and useful information pertaining to the moon that you can include into your own personal practices, such as sacred moon rituals, prayers, charms, spells, lunar inc incantations. Um, each book also includes a plethora of information pertaining to various myths and legends, which I'm huge on. That's great. Um, surrounding the moon and it also helps us to further connect with the roots of our practice and why we do what we do I'm so excited I'm stoked to read this I was just saying like literally at the beginning of this video I don't practice enough with the moon I don't know about much about the moon to go ahead and incorporate it outside of maybe cleansing crystals <laughs> so this is great and I am excited to read it and the last thing in here it's a book of shadows page on the moon goddess. So it is a page for your book of shadows, which is going nicely with also with witch box. So why we chose it. Within the actual practice of witchcraft and paganism, there is a deep connection, uh, yeah, deep connection between the moon, the divine feminine, and the goddess herself. 
In fact, within some traditions, these three aspects may be considered one and the same. Though this may be, the moon goddess may come in many forms and is known by many names. This gorgeous parchment will help you become more acquainted with some of them and will make a beautiful addition to your book of shadows. And it's very, very lovely. Uh, this is going to look great in there. It retails for $1.95 and it's for from Azora Green, which I know we've gotten stuff from before. Uh, I actually think in Mystical Mojo Box as well. That is everything in here. So I just want to take a moment if you don't know about Ostara. I do have a video that I just recently put out on... Um, kind of my take on Ostara, uh, things that I've learned, ways to celebrate. So if you want to watch that here, there's a card right above me and I will also link to it down below. Sabbath box includes information on the Sabbath itself. So I'm going to go ahead and go through it just in case uh, you don't know what it is. Uh, we're in the same boat. This is my first Ostara practicing. So when is Ostara? It's going to be on March 20th. Uh, though the actual day that Ostara may fall on can change from time to time, 2017, it's going to be March 20th. So who originally observed it? History shows that the ancient Egyptians were some of the first people to observe the vernal equinox along with the Persians, Celts, Greeks, and Aztecs. We are still unsure who were the first to celebrate Ostara by name as their lack of evidence to definitively say so. What is Ostara? Ostara is also known as the spring or vernal equinox. It is one of the two equinoxes we have each year. The other is the autumn equinox, uh, which happens in the fall. So this marks the first day of spring. It is the time of year when light and when the light of day and the dark of night are equal. The word Ostara is derived from the Proto-Germanic word Ostro, meaning to shine, or the word Ostre, meaning to rise, which I think is how you say her name. Magical significance. In the northern hemis hemisphere, Ostara marks the first official day of spring. As you look around, you probably have started to see the emergence of new life taking shape in many forms as the days heading up to Ostara have signaled nature to awaken from its wintry slumber. I gotta say, nope. <laughs> we just had a huge blizzard. Um, it was really bad. It, it looked like it was gonna be spring, and then this hit, and it's supposed to be like this all week. So, nope. <laughs> For many pagans, Ostara and the spring equinox represent rebirth, growth, balance, and fertility. This marks a great time to work prosperity magic in order to manifest your goals and bring them into fruition. Another common theme around this time of year is spring cleaning, both physically and spiritually. Spring also marks a time to work magic pertaining to love and manifesting relationships. So yeah, guys, that was everything in this Sabbath's Sabbath box. <laughs>